welcome back dang dog bloggers to another video review uh this one uh we're doing another star wars force awakens uh once again i'm doing another tie fighter this time in the three and three quarter inch scale or one uh this is smaller than 112 scale uh this is 124th or a little larger than that because if a six inch figure is 112 anyways get into a lot of math nobody cares about actions but Star Wars Episode 7, Force Awakens uh, TIE Fighter. Uh, this one, the Special Forces with the Elite TIE Fighter Pilot. Uh, is he Elite? No, he's not. Wow, that's special. Uh, if you guys have caught back, if you got the review on this, this is a First Order TIE Fighter uh, Special Forces with the Elite Pilot. Um, as, as some of you guys have seen the images, the red streak uh, indicates Special Forces. Um, so in this case, also, the, the TIE Fighter pilot that came with this uh, toy right here also had the red streak across the helmet. Uh, this helmet does not have it. Maybe it's just the smaller scale for Hasbro, uh, but the uh, the actual TIE Fighter does. So once again, three uh, three and three quarters. Uh, Kylo Ren on the front box art with a uh, digital art print up front. Uh, shows a picture right here underneath uh, above the Disney and Hasbro logo uh, with firing missiles. Pew pew! Nice little clear window showcasing the actual figure. Star Wars Force Awakens on one side, cool TIE Fighter Pilot on the other side. Once again, as I've indicated so far, they are my favorite uh, trooper for the First Order uh, a la the Empire, the, the new version of the Empire. Uh, top panel here, Star Wars Force Awakens. Bottom panel, you know, normal accoutrement warnings, uh, choking hazards. Once again, the reading on the backs of the box art, uh, I got a chance to read it earlier, is the same as the back right here. The elite of the First Order Starfighter pilots have access to specialized craft, such as two-seater TIE Fighter TIE craft outfitted with enhanced weapons and sensor systems. Um, as a throwback to the old Kenner Hasbro TIE Fighters, the wings look like they pop off. Uh, this is new with the uh, photon cannon shooting uh, as we indicated the uh, the the gun turret or photon cannon at the bottom uh, laser cannon rotates 360 with the gun turret on the uh, the left wing of the figure uh, nice box art showcasing a figure with a removable helmet which in the six inch figure uh, you do not get a removable helmet which I guess you really don't want to give a face to any of your uh, stormtroopers fire uh, flame troopers snow troopers so but it's still cool you know as a kid i always enjoy figures that had a helmet um, of some sort that was removable um and little cool windows uh to give you a, a rundown of other products that are available with uh, poe dameron uh a resistance trooper and also a y uh y wing scout bomber uh, so something cool it alludes to uh, you know maybe it's a new vehicle that we're gonna see in the movie maybe not uh, you know how the toy world goes, a little expansion for a little extra dollar. <laughs> but I'm not knocking it, not knocking it. So let's go ahead and start opening this bad boy. Uh, build it and see how it looks. Alright, so here we are with the figure uh, unboxed. Not too much different outside of the size <laughs> of the, uh, the 112 scale. Right Luke? What do you think? It's awesome, right? Um, let's let's look at the figure real quick before we get into the. Uh, you know, I I grew up on three and three quarter inch figures, uh, GI Joe of course, and then Star Wars of course as well. And to be holding one in my hands now, just because I collect myself pre predominantly, I'm a six scale figure collector, so it's twelve inch figures. Uh, I am co I collect a lot of the uh, one twelve scale as well. Uh, but to handle a three and three quarter inch figure now, it, there's no joke. Uh, it's it, it seems like you know quote unquote you know laughable toy. Uh, not really hating on it, but you know the, the playability is just uh, you know maybe this isn't this should be Black Series, isn't it? No, that they, they don't indicate it as Black Series because at one point they did have a Black Series for three and three quarters, and I believe they still are. Once again, like we said, it's going to be an exclusive for Walmart. Uh, but a lot more maneuverability. But this figure right here, it's a uh, this this takes you back. There's no waist articulation. Obviously, no ab crunch. Uh, even old GI Joes, they didn't really have an ab crunch, but they had a unique design right at the pelvis that allowed it to move up and down. It had the the rubber band system, as I called it. You know, you used to be able to pull the legs and see the rubber band and the uh, the little metal T piece that held it. So the legs move up and down. Uh, leg can't really go backwards. Once again, about 10 degrees, just because of the little uh, pocket uh, on his utility belt. 
uh, but the leg can go up about uh, 90 degrees. Uh, head can rotate 360 degrees on the pivot, but not up and down. Uh, well, a little bit up and down. Uh, 360 and 360 on the arm, but that's it. Uh, you know, I'm kind of shocked at that. I was, I was hoping for a little bit more. Um, kind of reminds me of Mask. Who remembers the Mask? Uh, so you put the helmet on with his uh, respirator system right in the middle. That yeah, still looks good. Has this little blaster piece right here. And once again, like I said, no uh, no actual uh, red indicator on the helmet to show that he's an elite pilot or you know or special forces pilot. Uh, this one, unlike the uh, unlike the six inch figure, actually comes with a piece on the bottom. I don't know why it comes separate, uh, but there is an assembly for this. There's a little uh, cutout right here for it looks like the buttons that shoots the uh, the photons. So obviously that one's going to go towards the actual uh, the where the opening needs to be for you to do the uh, pilot. And then let's go ahead and install this. Just three basic tabs. All right. So once again, I don't know why it comes separate. You know, just maybe it uh, saves them half a penny uh, to pay out to workers. Uh, once again, um, this is a Hasbro piece. It is designed for two pilots. I don't even think you could buy this pilot yet. Uh, no, you can. Uh, I'm not sure if you could remove the helmet though. Uh, it is designed for two pilots in this movie as we've discussed, uh, but this one's a little unique from the other one, obviously because of the scale. This one, they are sitting tandem, one facing back, one facing forward. Um, but you know, this is something like, uh, this is flying uh, ANA uh, in, uh, in first class right here. You know, the, the seats lounge down and you can talk to your co-pilot. Uh, but no, so they literally sit one next to each other. Um, I, I understand the size, uh, you know, restraint, the price point. This is designed to sell to the masses. You know, the parent comes in, Dad, I gotta have it. It's not gonna happen, son. Go get you the three and three quarters. <laughs> that one's for Dad. So, uh, how it sits in there, there is no controls or anything. They kind of just, just like the uh, old three and three quarter uh, toys that we sat, sat in the back, they, they sit flat in their butt and just throw the figure in there. It's not gonna really be able to sit up on its own. Uh, and you close the hatch up and you know you kind of forget that you know hey they're not in the uh, anatomically correct position to uh, sit in the tie but maybe it's movie accurate and that's why you know the Empire aka the uh, First Order never wins <laughs> tongue-in-cheek right there got the hatch on Ooh, ooh, one laser cannon in two laser cannon in so the way this looks is this you're supposed to shoot from the actual cannons but it looks like the cannons themselves shoot out so, all right, I don't need my guns anymore. Buy guns. <laughs> Who doesn't like missiles? Unlike the towering and monstrous 12 scale here, uh, they do have indicators on these on which one is left and right. So with the cockpit, <laughs> cockpit uh, facing forward uh, away from you when you're actually installing it, you're gonna want the wing with the, the, uh, the notch facing down. No, no clicking sensation when the wing goes in. You just feel it stop. I forgot the buttons were down here, just like they were in the past. So they are right at the edge where it meets the center console. And my nephew Luke, who loves Star Wars like a junkie, he loves when stuff breaks apart. That's right. But it comes back together, Luke, so no worries. All right, so I'm gonna, Uncle Pete's gonna put it back together. Uh, this gun looks like it'll move better, but it's on a, a cheap plastic tab. Um, I, I, I say these things in, in you know, it, as a joke, but, you know, I mean, like I said, the, with the price point, you can't expect much people um so i'm not knocking it by any means because 30 dollar price point on yeah at 30 dollar price point uh for nowadays this is a phenomenal toy for any entry level star wars kid um there you go so the funny thing is on this scale for 30 dollars this turret actually comes down no problem the, this gun on this turret uh which can move around 360 degrees um and then it can bend down. So I'm, I'm curious to see if the if the co-pilot in the back can control this gun as well as this bottom gun right here, which does move 360 as we've discussed before. So it's pretty cool. You know, if you figure that there's one T 
to three places to actually shoot from from this TIE Fighter. I, I'd, I'd hope they're a lot more formidable uh, in The Force Awakens um, than in the past where they're kind of an afterthought for the TIE Fighter. So th that's it in a nutshell right there, guys. Um, let's take a look at this real quick uh, at the actual TIE Fighter itself. Um, not too far off from the old uh, Kenner and Hasbro TIE Fighters out there, you know, with the homage to the uh, jettison, uh, jettison in uh, wings here. Is that a word, jettisoning? Uh, but the wings do pop off. It, I, I feel like it looks a little better than the old ones. It's still not to scale. You know, when you figure that the, the wings need to be a little further up, the cockpit needs to be a little larger for the figure. But once again, limitations for a toy figure designed for the masses, um, designed for you know to, to really be a um, a high product volume. You know, something that they could really make turn a profit on more so than you know please all the millennials and all the older geeks like us right here. Uh, but I like it. This one right here doesn't have the metal screws. Um, has a typical paint job, a, a nice paint job. It, it's nice, sturdy feeling, which that it's a little bit more cumbersome to deal with in the in the 12 scale. This one is exactly like you remember in a three three quarter inch figure. Um, I'd 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 hate to say it because I was always a fan of vehicles in the past that you'd have figures to actually put in, and it almost feels like the uh, the figure is an afterthought here. Um, you know, maybe Hasbro, maybe, maybe the, the figure that's included, obviously for the price point, they had to keep costs down, but hopefully the figure they sell individually is a little bit uh, higher detail for those that are still passionate about collecting three and three quarter inch figures out there. Uh, because, you know, it, it's a shame if that's how their figures are all turning out now. I, you know, it's, for, for younger collectors and older collectors alike who, you know, need a little bit more for their imagination to actually go out and play instead of just having, you know, your stick figure running out there. All right, so this is Pete uh, signing off for Mike and Hi. I want to thank again for uh, shooting at a little different location than we normally do uh, and for helping out doing the videos today for the, the, the two TIE Fighters that we'll continue doing them on. Uh, but for uh, Hi, Mike, and Little Luke, this is Pete signing off. Uh, till the next video review, Dang Dog Bloggers, may the force be with you.